Okay, settle down. <laughs> uh, I saw that segment with P. Diddy, and I love that that red number. You thought I looked good in the red number? The one where the one where I'm uh, got the, the one tails. Don't eat pants. Well, <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? It was really cute and really subtle, and I thought it looked really good on you. You thought it looked cute and subtle? Yeah. I don't think anything I was wearing looks subtle. <laughs> but thank you for, let's uh, pretend it did. Yeah, well, thank okay. you for being here. Thank you for having Congratulations. me. Congratulations, you're doing well on this show. You enjoy it? Yeah, I love it. Cool. I mean, when you're on one of these police dramas, I sit here all the time. I could be an accountant. Oh, but really? you are, in your job... You're constantly having to beat up people and tackle them, and it's very demanding. Yeah, I was surprised that I would enjoy the, this sounds so awful, the manhandling part that happens when you play detective, you have to prove yourself a little bit more when you're a female. And people think because maybe you're petite or blonde that you're not capable. And so I've had to maybe prove myself a little bit more, and uh, I, I kind of work hard at keeping my physical strength up. I do a lot of Tai Bo. You do Tai Bo? Yeah, actually, I didn't. Teach I didn't never. Tybo you teach Tai Bo? Weekend, weekends, yeah. It's, it's really, funny because I, I yeah. see the uh, the commercials. They have those late night commercials. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Um, they're they're always talking about Tai Bo, and I've never right. met anybody who actually did no? Tai Bo. Yeah, it's it great seems like it's a lot of what, it's a lot of jumping around. What is it? Here, I'll show you. Put your hand, put your hands out like. That. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna do any kicks because I'm wearing a mini skirt, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My trick didn't work. Uh, all right, right and here. What you do, is, what the, the instructors do, is they wear mitts right. like that. Right. And then you keep your body weight kind of low and do a squat and. Okay. See, they wear mitts. All right, stop that. I'm like, what they do is they wear protective mitts. Look at you. But you all just, well, come on. I'm no, like made fun, of candy. It's a fun way to, to work out. <laughs> Very delicate. So I mustn't be crushed you or hurt in any way. I'm sorry. The hell's going on over here? Uh, I noticed that there are some, they have like some celebrities in the video, like Carmen Electra is in every commercial for Ty Bo. They always show her there and she says like, I love Ty Bo, I'm Carmen Electra. And oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see her in the classes? No, I see the cast of Scrubs. I see, um, uh, there's actually a lot of heterosexual men that do this because it's based in karate. It's not like... Sounds good to me. <laughs> heterosexual men. I'll be there in a minute. Oh I used to do a lot of aerobics, you know, leg right, warmers and that right, kind of thing. And there, right. were, there weren't that many. So it's a real mixed crowd. Right, it's a nice mixed crowd. It's it a nice is. place probably to meet people. Well, I don't know about that, but maybe, I mean, if you want. No, hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, now, are you comfortable in your role uh, on TV? You get to carry a gun a lot of time. I tell yeah. actors look uncomfortable that they have to carry a gun. You can just, it's like when people pretend to smoke who don't really smoke. Well, we have great technical advisors. I think that we would feel kind of left out in the cold if we didn't have a lot of people saying this is what happens, this is how, how you hold it. When you, uh, you have to have your elbows straight because they can easily headbutt and all these kind of things. So it makes you feel very um, confident having all right. these technical advisors around. If I was like in a cop drama, whenever I fired the gun, I'd drop it and run away, you, you know? Would? And it would break the tension. I don't know if that would be a good thing to do if you were a cop, because then you they would chase you and they would get you. But you have to be careful you don't, you know, parlay that into real life. Because I, I came home and there were some cops at my house and um, they thought that they had heard something. And there was like an alarm went off or an something? An alarm went off and nothing happened. They left and then I heard something and I... I grabbed a gun and I was walking around the house. Wait, a real gun or a fake gun? Well, after the riots, I, I did get a gun. Right. So I have a gun. I know how to use it. So you have a, you have a gun in the house. Well, that's interesting. I, Not many people. I do. Well, I'm a single woman in a house, and I, you know, you gotta be careful. Right. So anyway, I was walking around the house like I do on, on the show every day, and I realized, you know. Hey, we're doing all that kind of Charlie's <laughs> Angel stuff. And then you realized it's I was. like, oh, I was. wait a minute, this and then thing I thought, is real. You know, this isn't this is not make believe here. You know, you have to be kind of careful. Right. Not yes, to get you too do. carried away. Yes. yes be you very do. careful with that thing. I, I will. Um, let me ask you. You did an ad for PETA not mm -hmm. too long ago, and it's a stunning. Oh, thank you. Ad. It's for a good cause, yes, but it's it also a, a stunning ad. Oh, Can we just show you. this ad for a second? It's just. Uh, <laughs> Goes along those lines of subtle. Of yeah, subtle. About. Yeah, that's really yeah. Uh, if it you know like if it catches your attention even for a couple seconds, it makes you think about how many animals, 30 to 40 sometimes for one coat. That's the whole purpose of the ad. And I've never done nudity. The in problem is years. I kind of like you tune out a little bit on the cause. I gotta say, yeah. you know, a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm like look at our picture, and then you don't you know. Oh yeah, they're Peter. Yeah, so good. You realize it's for Peter. People for the ethical treatment of animals. Yes, it's a good. No, it's a very good thing. It's a great but cause. that's a very powerful you know. Well, I'm good. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do then. Maybe, yes, yes. Do you have Are other work? actors going to be posing nude in this? Well, are we going to see Ed Asner soon coming no. out for PETA? Like, how are you? Oh, 
Check out my Maybe. Butt, you know? yeah, I'm not sure. I know Christy Turlington's done it and, and Cindy Crawford. Oh, good. They're asking the right people to do this. That's I, I, was, I feel very thankful to be in the company of the people that they've had do it. So. Now, now before we go, there's something about, I don't, I, I knew that you had this, you know, this role on the show and that you have this, uh, you've done very well as, a, as an actor. I didn't know that you had a gold record. You have a gold record. Oh, gosh. I did a series a long time ago in 1991 uh, for, for Aaron Spelling, which was kind of a wannabe cross between 90210 and The Commitments. And uh, we actually got a gold record called How Do You Talk to an Angel? We went and because sang in the malls. Because you, you sang in malls to yes, promote we, it? we sang in the malls, which was very big during the Tiffany era. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, and I remember... There's a famous singing. video where Tiffany's like singing, what's the song? And the song? mall's having a full, you know, riot. So what happens, I remember looking out, it was very surreal and thinking, is this really where I want to be? And I saw people going back and forth, and I saw the gap behind all these people. And it was a full mall concert. You're like, I'm rocking out in front of the gap. Yeah, it was, uh, it was the highlight. <laughs> this is a great rock and roll moment in front of cargo pants for 1999. Right. Exactly, exactly. In, so, a, in a fine array of covers, too. I have done too. that a lot lately now. Well, it's a nice thing to have. Not many people have a gold record. Yeah, Just no, You and me great. and the people here. Uh, <laughs> The uh, season finale of NYPD Blue airs next Tuesday night at yeah. 10 o'clock on ABC. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Please come back. Thank it's you. Nice to have Thank you, here. you for having me. Yeah. Charlotte Ross, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.